what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video so today i'm going to be talking about why the jfj easy pro disc repair machine is a great investment if you are a movie collector so how many of you go to your goodwill your salvation army you know pretty much any store you go to that sells used dvds and how many have you had to pass up because the disc was not in the best shape a lot of I'm sure a lot of you have you know I've done it myself um, but when I started uh, investing into a JFJ easy pro I started to realize that it was a game changer not just for uh, finding titles uh, that uh, I had to pass up on but to also help with my eBay business so <clears throat> for me, it was a win-win situation. Now, to me, it's definitely a big investment for multiple reasons when it comes to movie collecting. Uh, this allows you to not pass up on films that you wanted to add to your collection, especially if it's an out-of-print title. I I've personally have come across out-of-print titles that, um, you know, I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't get because the disc was severely uh, well I wouldn't say severely scratched but it was not in the best shape um, when it could have been uh, fixable and there are there are pros and cons to the JFJ Z Pro but it's not just the JFJ Z Pro there's other resurfacing machines out there that are going to have their pros and their cons uh, a lot of them are going to be different prices. The JFJ Easy Pro, I feel like, is going to be your uh, cheapest. Yes, it does run a little over $200, but that's better compared to the uh, e what is it, Echo Pro. Uh, that one, because there's like different versions. Uh, there's one that just cleans discs. There's one, so of course, Echo Pro 2, I believe it's called. Uh, that one's like $1,500. Uh, there's one that does 50 discs at a time and that's like over 10 grand like I think used 10 grand new 20 grand uh, which is a little pricey but um, it's definitely JFJ is definitely the more affordable and like I said any resurfacing machine is gonna have its pros and cons but it, it, it's definitely a big investment when you're finding movies whether you're looking for something to flip or add to your collection it definitely comes a long way you can give life uh, back into that movie that you uh, you know passed up the first time um, now like I said it, it's gonna you know a lot of the machines are gonna have the pros and cons I think after a while once you start messing around with it and start figuring out what works eventually you'll get to a point that uh, you know that point where you can resurface your disc and they will be good uh, in your eyes and they'll be able to play and you won't have any issues um, so I'm going to show you guys two examples of uh, the type of discs that the JFJ Easy Pro can do and the types that it can't do because there are specific discs that it cannot resurface but before we get started I want to go ahead and take a sip of my drink or coffee so the first one I have here is cyborg so cyborg is a standard uh, DVD as you can see so these type of discs the JFJ easy pro will resurface with no issues um, majority of the discs I try to resurface are usually those but then you'll come across a disc like this one this is a double layer dual layer whatever you want to call it basically you will have the widescreen version on one side and the full screen version on another side the jfj easy pro does not resurface discs like that um it can but considering you have the other side when you have a machine the little holder that the disc is on um you know because it's spinning so fast it can actually cause more scratches excuse me so in situations like this, you may have to get the heavy duty uh, resurfacing machines because those will probably end up doing a better job at resurfacing them or you just have to pass on them if they're severely scratched. 
but like I said, if you're going to go and uh, find movies that you want to add to your collection, make sure they are just the standard where there's artwork on the top because those will be the ones that they uh, that the machine can resurface. Now, Blu-rays. Now, the machine can fix Blu-rays. It, it doesn't resurface them or anything. Uh, it mainly polishes them. Uh, so if you have scratches on a Blu-ray, put in the JFJZ Pro and just polish it and you'll be good to go. Um, now, the compound, the very interesting thing I found about the compound is that with the compound you get with the system, it, it doesn't work all that great. Uh, I found like Meguiar's car polish, it works 10 times better. Uh, it actually makes it have almost like that mirror, I wouldn't say mirror finish, but you won't see any scratches. It'll look like you bought it, you know, brand new um, in some in some cases. Um, so it just really depends on what you want to do when it comes to polishing and like I said Blu-rays are going to only be able to be polished which is still not bad I've been able to polish uh, a Blu-ray disc that had a pretty decent amount of scratches and it played like it was new so um, well play it like it's new but it looked just almost as good as new and I tested the disc and it worked so there was no issues there but yeah I definitely in my uh, personal opinion, it definitely comes in handy when you want to fix the standard uh, Blu-ray. Um, and I'm sure it'll polish 4K discs if you uh, have a disc that has scratches. So definitely in some way helps with the Blu-ray discs. And uh, Compound is affordable to some extent. Uh, they are pricey, but uh, it depends on the size that you get. Uh, I think you can get like the jugs, but they're like 50 bucks. But uh, if you have like the small containers and you want to get the jugs to fill up those containers, then it definitely comes a long way. Excuse me. So, all in all, I like I said, I just feel like the JFJZ Pro is going to save you a uh, ton and tons of money and time, especially if you're looking to flip some movies to add movies into your collection. Or if you are, you know, looking to pick up titles when you're at Goodwill and you find stuff and you pass up, you won't have that problem anymore. Uh, recently, when I went to pick up a few DVDs at the local thrift store I tend to go to, the lady was like, uh, did you take a look at them? And she was looking at a couple I haven't looked at. And she goes, let you know, they some of these do have scratches. I said, that's fine. I said, I have a resurfacing machine. She was very surprised. I said, yeah, I, you know, I basically got it so I don't have situations like this I can put new life into them so so yeah as a collector out there I feel like you guys should definitely invest into uh, the machine it also does disc based video games like PlayStation 1 2 original Xbox and things like that and CDs so uh, and it also has an attachment you can buy separately for GameCube discs so all in all it, uh, to me personally, it's worth it, and uh, I figured I would do a video for you guys talking about it, and uh, hopefully it might be something you might, guys might want to invest in, um, but for me, it has definitely saved me a lot when it comes to passing up on things at the thrift stores. Even if I'm buying it just to flip it, I, I don't have the issue of having to pass on it anymore, because I'll tell you, there's been times where I've come across some great titles and I had to unfortunately pass on them because they were just really bad in the way of scratches. So, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment down below. Give me your thoughts on everything that I have talked about in this video. And um, any questions you have on the JFJZ Pro, I will answer as well. And don't forget to give this video a like. It's much appreciated. It keeps me going. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's uh, much appreciated. And um, I'm Film Talk with Mikey. Till next time, we'll talk films. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.